Welcome back, all you cool cats and kittens. We're Cracking Packs MTG, and we're back with another box break. We're going to split this standard draft booster box up six ways. So that means each person gets six packs, and then we get to roll the dice for the box topper. So let's put that juicy little dude to the side, and then we'll get the rest of these packs out and sent to everybody, or opened and then sent to everybody. Right. These are for Manuel M and Farron. These are for Dakota C. This is for somebody special. This is Paige C. It's Happy's Mother's Day from Kaya and Etta. Six here for Christina H. William N. And then finishing off the box here for one, two, three, four, five, six <clears throat> for Catherine H. Thank you for bearing with me through that. I know it's not the fun part, but it's a necessary part. So we're going to get started here. And I'm about to show y'all some stuff. Let's start up here with Manuel and Farron. Fact one, here we go. Full Art Cub Warden, first pack. That's a good start. Having to showcase Porky Parrot. I'm going to start referring to him as Bird Swallow. Oh, very nice. A foil Yadaro. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna call him, I'm gonna do it turtley boy. I have to say it with an unpredictable cyclone as well. I was trying to refrain from calling him turtley boy, but I, I just couldn't hold it in. Bonders Enclave. Do you guys think this will see play? Maybe. Lord Drakus. Maybe not. We'll see. I can definitely see it being played in Commander because there's a lot of a lot of big beaters out on the board. So having a creature with power four or greater is easy to accomplish and paying three to draw a card is uh, I think it's reasonably priced. Eerie Ultimatum. Sprite Dragon, that's one of the better uncommons. Right horn. That's some of the best artwork in the set, I think. Just the, the way the purples and the greens with the golden border. It just really makes that card stand out. Uh oh. Pack art Vivian Monsters Advocate. Not a bad hit at all. Then we have a snake. A sneaky little snake. And a marmoset. Part monkey. Part porcupine. Last pack for Manuel and Farron. Let's see. Another ultimatum. That's uh, the casting costs of those are prohibitive, but I think they're, uh, you know, with the days, good mana bases and the ways to sneak things out, I think these are going to be good cards. All right, Manuel and Farron. There you go. Next up, we got Dakota. Dranith. Back to see a dasher octopus. He's caught him some lunch. This card seems really good. I, I've, I've been playing against it in Limited, but it seems like this could have a home somewhere else. I'm, I may be wrong because I'm bad at magic, but I'm not that bad. But sometimes I think see things I think are good, and they're not really good. And 
inspired ultimatum, polywog. Shark for your Sharknado. Weaponize the monsters and Umori. We have our first companion of the box, I think. I think all the companions are going to be sought after and are going to see some play one way or another. Foil Chittering Harvester showcase art with a Chad of the Jungle. He definitely wears Axe Body Spray and drinks Four Locos. First trial, good hit. Never sad to see a trial. And that is it for that stack. Dakota, there you go. Now we're up, these are for Paige. Like I said, this is Mother's Day surprise from Kaya and Netta. So may the spicy pulls be with you. Mythos of a Luna. Heartless Act. Oh, Bosh, the Prey Piercer. Our next companion. General Kudro. There we go. It's open for at least a mythic for you. So now you have a commander for your human decks. Catbird. Startling development. And a triome. There we go. We picked up a little uh, little steam here. Get back over there. Rumbling rock slide and a rabbit, uh, labyrinth raptor. I'm just checking this art at, out, trying to. There, there we go. I was just trying to get a good a good look at the dinosaur itself. And his red mohawk. Just trying to figure him out. All right, there we go. Slide you out. Gigantha the Wellspring. There we go. Another companion. I think this might be one of the better ones. And since it's Mother's Day for you, I've got an extra pack just hanging about. So hopefully this will juice it up just a little bit for you. Let's see. Offspring's Revenge. Heron. There we go. All right. Moving on to Christina. Hunted Nightmare. Heron. We were having a discussion about some draft cards the other day, and the pack that we were discussing had an archipelago in it, and I was saying that would probably be my first pick, 
And I, it wasn't a popular pick out of the pack, but planes, and we got something Azerta, very nice. Uh, it wasn't a very popular pick, but I don't think people really thought about. If you're not, if you if you're playing Morph right, and you have one of the Herons out, if you cast an Archipelago, it's going to be a seven seven flyer that probably taps anything that they have to block, and that usually finishes the game. Skycat. So I'm a big fan of the gore. And just in case you're wondering, all these packs, the plastic wrappers, I recycle these because they, they're recyclable. So if you've never thought about it, don't just throw those in the trash. Uh, wow, Luris of the Dream Den. Because they can become more magic packs or a milk jug or a pair of sandals for somebody. Just think about that, having a pair of sandals made out of Ikoria wrappers, that'd be, uh, that'd be pretty neat. The Ozlith. Dang, Christina, you're killing it. One last pack. This oasis. And when I was talking about the archipelago and Harrigan, did I call it did I call it morph or did I say mutate? I can't remember. They both start with them, but they're both completely different. But I meant mutate if I said morph. And if I said mutate, I meant mutate. So this is the first pack for William N. Sorry about that, I got a little distracted there. Wingspan Minner with a whirlwind of thought. This really, that looks a lot like some Kamigawa art. Not Kamigawa, uh, Cons, Cons art. Got my K's mixed up too. I'll eventually get it together. And this will be a professional uh, YouTube channel one day. I'm far from it. We shoot from Taco Bells. There we go. Luna, Apex of Wishes. Monstrous Step. And something I think I noticed in the Japanese boxes is that if you get one of these, I think you also get another rare or mythic in the, box, in the pack as well. They stack those a little, uh, little better than ours, I think. Mythos of Brokos, Brokos, somebody give me the correct pronunciation in the comments, and I will read it and say it that way from now on. And I've been talking about uh, the, the video that hit 5,000 views, um, it's, been a, it's been a while now, but it took a little while to hit 5k, but I'm giving away, doing the giveaway for it, it's four packs, um, and I'm doing it to six people, and somebody's going to get a box hopper. I'm going to announce that in the next video. The next video is going to be a collector booster box. Here's our cat beast. But I'm pretty sure it's a dog. Uh-oh. Whoa, what, what, what kind of pack is this? Hold up. I was worried, I was worried for, you, for you for a minute, William, because we hadn't got any spice yet. But then we got the Garuda Doom of Depths in foil and a Triumph Showcase. Look at that. Would you look at that? There we go. That's what we needed. All right. Last pack for you, William. And a Snapdax. You brought it home in the clothes. There we go. 
All right, last but not least, let me adjust the camera there so we can kind of get over there and see. Catherine, these are your packs. And I feel like I always say last but not least. Maybe I should try to not say that. Genesis Ultimatum. Pack two. Lurking Dead Eye and a non full Yodaro, Turtley Boy. We hit him earlier, just the shiny version. I feel like this box still maybe owes us a mythic or two, though. So let's see what we bring home here in the end. Voracious Great Shark. Here we go. Offspring's Revenge. Two packs left. Let's get a hit. A foil falls with a mythos of Nethroi. Alright, last pack. We need some gas out of this one. So let's see what we can get. Spring Jaw Trap Foil and a Ruinous Ultimatum. Not terrible. I'm not sending this out. I'll probably spice this last stack up for Catherine because it's. I wanted at least a bit one big hit in there and we didn't get one. So uh, that'll have a little something extra when it goes out. But it's not all over yet because we still have this to go. And I've got everybody numbered one through six. I'm going to roll this dice here, which has six sides. And everybody says it tends to land on six every time which is not intentional. It's not loaded. It's just a regular cheap acrylic dice. Is that what these are made out of? So let's roll this thing. And we hit a one. It hits one a lot too. So it's a one or a six kind of dice. I'm going to get a new dice next time. So we're going to get this one. This is from Manuel and Farron. And let's see what we get. On the count of three, one, Two, three. Ooh! Gigan Cyberclaw Terror. Very nice. I like that card a lot. It looks really good with the foiling. All right, guys. You know the drill. Like the video, be subscribed. Leave me a comment. Tell me how to pronounce Brokos, Brokos, whatever it is, or anything else I mispronounce, and I will try to correct it. And you have the opportunity to win three collector booster packs. That's right. This will be the third video I did that. I'm going to do one more video with the CBs. That'll clear out a whole box. And next video, we're going to announce a giveaway. We're going to bring up the random comment selector. I've got a new screen set up here. And we'll get those sent out to some lucky people. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you're having a good end of your week. See you next time.